Hello everyone, welcome to you and family. This video is about beetles and bugs. I have mentioned the scientific names and facts. This is lychee sheet bug and the scientific name is Chrysochoris stoli. This tiny beetle-like bug have a beautiful shiny green top with black dots. These belong to family Scutellariidae. They are commonly known as jewel bugs or metallic shield bugs. These insects feed on plant juices from a variety of different species including some commercial crops. Closely related to sting bugs, they may also produce an offensive odor. Second is blue mint beetle, scientific name is Chrysolina cerulum. It is in the subgenus of Synergia. It is native to a wide range of countries between Mid and Eastern Europe. It lives alongside rivers and in meadows. It feeds on various plant members of the mint family. Next is Rhinoceros beetle. Scientific name is Megasome elephas. Lowland rainforest is suitable for the beetle, but mature forest is required for the beetle to survive. The rhino is one of the strongest insects in the world with relation to its body size. The male is of massive size and has long intimidating horn that curves up. Males fight over females and feeding sites, but they are not very aggressive otherwise. Next is 10 line June beetle or watermelon beetle. Scientific name is Polyphylia decemlineata. It is about 1.5 inch or longer. Male has distinctive antenna made up of overlapping scales, which are called lamellate plates. When these pets feel threatened, these plates are closed up and air is forced between the back and wings to create a hissing sound. Adult females do not fly. Now, eggs are oval and cream colored. Larvae have a white body and a brown head. Almond, apple, cherry, and plum trees are susceptible to damage by these larvae. Trees may simply not thrive at first. By the time the damage is significant, it is usually too late to save the tree. Now, adult 10 line beetle feed on leaves, but their damage is insignificant. Next is Black Rhinoceros beetle or Cynodendron cylindricum. The Rhinoceros beetle lives up to its name by sporting a distinctive horn on the male's head. This glossy blue-black beetle can be found in woods, parks and hedgerows and depend on dead wood. It is a large cylindrical beetle that can be found in woodland, parkland and hedgerows. The adults are active in the summer and are strong flyers, although they can often be spotted resting in the sun. The larvae depend on old trees and rotting wood to live on and feed on, particularly common beech. Now the female rhino beetle just has a small bump rather than a full horn. Now next is green ground beetle. Ground beetles are large cosmopolitan families of beetle, with more than 40,000 species worldwide. Although their body shapes and coloring vary somewhat, most are shiny black or metallic and have rich ring covers. Common habitats are under the bark of trees, under logs or among rocks or sands by the edge of ponds and rivers. Now next is Spotted Red Ladybird and scientific name is Cocainelidae. Cocainelidae is a widespread family of small beetles ranging in size from 0.8 to 18 mm. Now these species are considered beneficial because they prey on herbivorous, aphids or scale insects which are agricultural pests. Ladybugs do have toxic effect on some small insects such as birds and lizards. Their bright colors and spots on their back are also a defense mechanism which usually means that they are poisonous or they taste bad. However, ladybirds are harmless to most humans, they don't sting and while they may occasionally bite, their bite don't cause serious injury or spread disease. Now next is Pine Ladybird or Black Ladybird. 
They are one of the more toxic ladybird species and can therefore cause allergic reactions. But black ladybird aren't poisonous to human or pets. They are just another color for the same species. However, these ladybirds carry a disease which is a form of fungi. Next is Colorado potato beetle. The scientific name is Leptinodarsa. Now, Colorado potato beetle attacks the leaves of the potato plants. It is native to the western North America and originally fed on buffalo burr, a wild plant of the potato family. It began feeding on cultivated potatoes when they were introduced into the western North America. This beetle is hemispherical in shape, about 10 mm long and orange, red or yellow in color. The female deposits between 300 to 500 eggs on the underside of the potato leaves. The red plump leaf feeding larvae pupate underground and are usually not seen until they emerge as adults. Now this one is common black ground beetle. Now Tyrostrichus is a very large genus of ground beetle with a holarctic distribution in the subfamily Harpelinae. These beetles are predatory but sometimes feed on strawberries. They can be found under rocks and prefer slightly moist sandy soil. They are great partners to have in your garden because they are nocturnal and they have great at keeping those nighttime pests under control. Hey friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative videos.